Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've been in front of a camera on this channel and I would like to first apologize in case any of you are wondering where I went and if you were coming to the channel looking for new stuff and not finding it, that stinks. I don't like that when I subscribe to a channel either, but there have been some things going on that I thought I would just share with you. Nothing life-altering or really that dramatic other than uh, me experiencing some kind of a creative coma recently. It has prevented me from getting in front of this camera and making videos. I still have some ideas that I wanted to present, but for some reason I was just having this really hard time just doing it. And I don't know if it's a case of burnout after doing this for six years plus, uh, or me just struggling with new ideas, or me being in a place that doesn't have a thriving film community forcing me to kind of pick up the ball and get it rolling all by myself. And in the past, I've always had some sort of support in that area as far as the community goes. Uh, but other than my wife's constant support, I've been just struggling trying to get things going as far as making films here, which is something I haven't done in over a year. Approaching two years now, and I know that's really affecting me as a filmmaker, which also affects the channel because how I am able to create videos is strictly or strongly based on how many projects I'm working on because I learn things from every project just like you probably experienced as well and I try and share the things that I've learned to hopefully benefit us all if possible. So that's been a problem because nothing has been going. I know there's a lot of opportunities where I am in this remote section of Alaska to make documentaries but I my heart is just not into documentaries. I'm actually working on a paid project right now um, and that's taken up a lot of my time as well. And I'm trying to get that finished, which is of course taken away from the channel because paid gigs, you gotta get those paid gigs done if you ever wanna see another paid gig. Uh, and that is sort of a documentary style type of a short film. But I'm a storyteller and I really wanna tell stories in a narrative fashion, uh, fictional narrative fashion. So trying to figure out something to shoot here and then trying to assess my resources has been really, really challenging. Not to mention that I've been working more uh, to help support the family. And that is a challenge to try and accomplish creative goals why you're trying to just uh, keep your head above water. So all these things in tandem have sort of kept me from making videos. It's been hard to get started again. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done anything with sports or exercise, you know that when you stop working out or exercising, getting back into that can be really difficult because you sort of dread that soreness phase that you have to go through. And I think I've had the same issue. You know, Once you get out of a habit or create a bad habit, namely not doing anything, it's hard to get out of that. It's hard to get back into a good habit. I have not wanted to sit in front of a camera and talk. I just didn't want to do it, and so I haven't. Um, so I've been on vacation of sorts, not necessarily one that I've wanted to be on, but one that I've just sort of ended up on. Uh, so I don't know if any of you have had a similar experience before uh, dealing with this sort of thing, this sort of uh, artistic uh, coma, but that's what I've been suffering from. And I guess I've sort of been down a little bit too because I know in the past, about in 2013, uh, the numbers for my channel were doing really well. I mentioned this before in some Q and A's. And then they just took a huge dive when I stopped producing new content in order to finish my thesis film. And I no, don't think I've ever quite recovered from that. And I think part of that may have had something to do with me working on my film as well as YouTube changing their algorithm, as well as sort of a change of format for me because I sort of moved away from the DIY stuff or at least hardcore DIY or super cheap DIY, namely PVC pipe and things like that. In fact, if you look at my channel, the most popular videos are still those early videos from the first few years that I worked on this channel as I sort of moved away. Not necessarily because I didn't want to do that stuff anymore, but I was trying to evolve and adapt and create new stuff out of new materials. And I feel like I've done that in a lot of ways, moving on to the flash bracket stuff and the itsy bitsy slider and videos like that seem to do well, but nothing's quite caught the amount of views as those first few videos. I know that first video or that uh, the PVC stabilizer video has, continues to do well and is one of my best videos approaching a million views, which is a pretty big deal uh, for me. Uh, not really viral, of course, but it, it's approaching those viral numbers even though it's been uh, in place for about six years. So all these things combined have just sort of been difficult uh, to try and get excited about doing more videos and I definitely am going to continue. And I think this is a good step for me, just sitting down and talking about this really helps instead of just jumping back on the horse and continuing to make videos and people wondering, well, wh why did you disappear for a month? And, and I hope this video helps to explain that. Again, I apologize for anyone who's come to my channel looking for good stuff and just wasn't able to find it because there was just nothing new or current. And I know that's a big deal. You got to keep you know that momentum going. I wrote a blog post a long time ago called YouTube Snowball 
about once you get the momentum rolling on your channel or on your blogging or whatever, if you keep doing it, that ball will just keep rolling. And when you stop, well, it stops rolling. The only, only thing that kind of stops that momentum is you by not doing it anymore. Unfortunately, it seems like I have not been able to maintain that momentum that I, that I once had. So that's challenging. I, you know, watching the Olympics, you see a lot of great stories about athletes who could have given up and just quit when they came to an Olympics in the past and didn't win anything like Michael Phelps and decided to just keep trying and work harder. And then of course they become very successful, but it seems like a really test of your mettle uh, to see what you're going to do when you fail and don't seem to have a future. Uh, are you gonna let that overcome you or are you gonna pick yourself up and overcome it? Which is something I hope I can do. And I'm not, this is not a pity party. I'm not looking for sympathy as much as I'm just sharing with you the feelings of what I've been going through with the full intent of recovering from all this. Uh, but I know that begins with filmmaking. I'm a filmmaker, and if I want to be a filmmaker, I need to make films, I need to make another movie. Even if it's a short film, I need to do something that will help kind of help me validate myself as far as, yes, I can still do this, or I still want to do this. And then as soon as I start making new films, I will start having new ideas and things that I can share with you that'll help with the films that I've made. So that's the plan uh, for the future. That's what's going on right now. I apologize if this video has been long or boring, sort of a sort of recalls the old uh, Q&A in the car videos where I would just talk without any edits, which I think this video is probably gonna end up being unedited. Uh, at any rate, um, I thank you for watching. I thank you for following me and this channel. I hope you continue to get something out of it. And I hope to keep presenting you with information that you find useful and valuable with your own movies because that's what this is all about, sharing good stuff that we learn with each other so that we can just be better filmmakers. Thanks.